we'll start with the trends that are happening all over the world in terms of the way castings are being designed today to start with and what kind of challenges that is leading to on manufacturers and we lead on from that to quality problems and defects and then we'll look at can we talk about perfect castings so in this lesson we'll talk about the global trends especially in the trends in terms of all the OEMs are trying to reduce the cost and when I say cost reduction it comes from either weight reduction or by changing the process or by changing the geometry and these are putting pressure onto manufacturers and how are they coping with that we look at that okay to start with uh, most manufacturers are trying to reduce the material cost how to do that you you come down from let's say steel to ductile iron immediately there is a change of reduction of cost by at least 20 30 percent material cost or from aluminum alloys to aluminum magnesium titanium alloys which is increasing the material cost rate but you reduce the part weight so your final cost comes down so final contribution of material cost comes from the material weight multiplied by material rate either you reduce, reduce the weight or you reduce the rate ideally both they reduce the material contribution of the cost this is what OEMs are doing from all sectors from energy to farming to automobile to even in in uh, sanitary castings last year I was surprised to find a foundry in uh, Howrah talking about uh, using simulation for manhole cover castings I said of manhole cover casting why do you need to do simulation it's a straightforward gray iron casting why do you need to look at strength and quality and all that he said no sir we are making now these castings from ductile iron and ductile iron has shrinkage and then it gives us problems so we need to analyze that I said why do you need ductile iron for manual covers he said no sir these covers are now used in highways where now trucks are getting bigger and bigger and faster and faster so when a high weight truck passes at a high speed on a manual cover the manual cover breaks if it's cast iron so even in manual covers the lowly <laughs> manual covers they are using technology to improve the material and uh, safety and things like that the second one comes from your part geometry where OEMs have now access to beautiful FEM software which can tell you exactly where stresses are, stresses are high where stresses are low wherever stress is high you increase the material wall thickness where it is low you remove that and thereby you are optimizing the casting shape for weight and by and large you reduce the weight okay and then in places where you don't need any strength don't make it a big shape try to introduce pockets and holes you don't know, need the pocket, pockets and holes for functionality but to reduce the weight that's one more way to do that and third is by changing the process you're changing from forging to casting is a huge improvement in cost okay because forging dies and forging equipment are far more expensive than metal casting so you're reducing there itself or from machining to casting we already have seen that okay especially for intricate parts that machining is very expensive and third is from fabrication or welding or assembly to metal casting where you have fewer number of parts in one shot in one step you are getting a, a part with more components without assembling or joining them so there are all different ways by which manufacturers are trying to reduce their cost so we'll see some examples of that this example is a universal coupler okay the original was a steel forging and you reduced it to ductile iron casting now you, first thing you should send you alarm bells in your mind you are reducing from steel which is a higher strength material to ductile which is a lower strength material and you are also moving from forging which is a more reliable process to casting which is a supposed to be a less reliable process obviously this cannot be achieved unless you also change the design so actually look at the stresses ok you look at where the part is uh, stressed more add material there you make it more safe ok and then of course process casting process is getting more reliable more accurate more predictable so the combination of geometry and process change we can and you can imagine the cost saving is directly 50 percent in this for the same order quantity remember that order quantity is not changed similarly if you look at engine blocks usually if you see the engine blocks made 20 30 years back and today they are much more complex much more covered more cylinder boards okay and uh, if you see the Hyundai is one engine from two generations you can see a difference in that thinner walls okay look at taco this example is from taco 
and if you see the walls are become distinctly thinner, okay, at least by about 20 percent. That reduces your weight by 20 percent. And one more example of again uh, shape complexity, okay, I mentioned to you, GM's engine blocks 20 years back and today far more complex, deliver far more power, so they have to be far more reliable also and these can be made by casting process only. Okay. Wheels are getting fancier and more complex. So now it is, when you say in, in metal casting, they say special process, wheel casting is a process by itself. The amount of knowledge and you know, technology used in just wheel casting design is so much. And then uh, we talked about fabrication to metal casting. So we, we use, uh, if you see in this example, there are uh, six parts which were made separately and then fabricated by welding. If you do it by a casting process, comes down the cost comes down straight. Here I can tell one more anecdote of uh, Compton Greaves. Uh, they were mentioning that a few years back, they moved from uh, casting to fabrication because castings were not giving the right quality and fabrication was better quality. So they moved from casting to fabrication. Now they are moving back from fabrication to casting because casting have become more reliable and definitely they always give a cost advantage. Assembly to casting, look at this 84 pieces assembly in this particular um, truck drive and then 55% uh, reduction in cost, 15% reduction in weight by converting all those parts into a single drive wheel which is Ostemper ductile iron. So these are happening. So what uh, designers are doing is that thanks to the CAD, three dimensional CAD and FEA, they are now making the parts more and more and more optimized in terms of stress and weight. And that is giving, uh, leading, putting some pressure on the foundry. But foundries have to meet the challenge in terms of being able to manufacture that with lower tooling costs, lower material wastage and lower manufacturing costs. Otherwise, you are not getting the benefit of, uh, of reduction.